Hello friends and welcome back for episode 3 of our Tower of Guns Let's Play. Today we will be trying to break some new ground, hopefully unlock a new weapon, and see what we can see, and maybe even get past the foundry. I'm not sure how many uh, you know levels there even are, but I'm going to give it my best anyway. Uh, the first thing I want to try is complete a stage under part-time for what looks like a pretty badass shotgun. Uh, I, I'm going to assume that's what it is. It might not be a shotgun. It might actually be a minigun, and there might be another barrel in there somewhere. I'm not sure. Uh, I kind of hope it is that, actually, but we will see. Uh, so let's start up a new run. I'm going to take the scatter gun, the uh, Constellation Charger. I always call it a scatter gun. I mean, that is what it is, but it's not actually called that. And we're just going to bolt. We're just going to run and see how fast we can go, and maybe, just maybe, we'll luck out and beat this level in three minutes. I kind of doubt it. I'll try and grab as much money as I can, but I'm not going out of my way. All right, speed run mode. Pretend this is Metroid. Go, 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 go! And it's not like I've played Metroid like that, but I'm just saying. Uh, I don't even really need to fight these guys at all, right? I can just sort of, like, zoom on into the next level. The next room. Yeah, totally can. Uh, this is going to be all about, can I beat the boss of whatever this is in a reasonable amount of time? And I don't know. We're going to find out. Uh, I like this level layout. This is pretty cool. The big old ramp, and oh geez, spike balls everywhere. I'm not very good at dodging these, evidently. Uh, Alright, there's our boss room. I haven't... Oh, I didn't, I didn't put a clock up anywhere, so I'm not sure if there's a way to know exactly how long I have. Uh, but let's get behind cover. Where's the... Is there stairs? There's no stairs this time. This level is differently shaped. Alright, I just have these pillars to use for protection. And I'm going to have to watch in case this thing starts spawning enemies that are going to start appearing behind me, which it's just going to kill me in like three seconds. Let's not kid ourselves. Uh, yep, here they come from both sides. I'm No chance am I going to be able to win that one. All right, fair enough. Learn my lesson. Back to the menu. New game. We're going to do the same thing again. Constellation Charger. Go. 351. All right, let's count it down. 3, 2, 1, go. No, now, go. Alright, go along the outside edge of the room. Not like the coins really count. And open the door. Probably should have opened that a little faster. Go, go, go. So I'm not sure how many rooms you necessarily will get. There's a chance that you might get more or less one time than the other. Uh, and if that is the case, well, it's going to make it a little hard to speedrun. I'm just going to hope that it's probably, uh, you know, between like 3 and 5. Hopefully it doesn't go too far beyond that. Uh, where is our exit? Up here, I guess. Well, this is a good way for you guys to see the diversity that we might run into. Ah, oh, jeez, there's so many turrets! Holy garbage! Is that the boss room? I can't even tell. There's bullets everywhere. It is. Alright. Are we gonna get that? Oh, what is this? The Longhorn! It charges me! That thing's terrifying. Uh, I don't even know how to fight this necessarily because I can't really, like, dodge fast enough? I don't know what to do with that. Alright, two deaths down. Lesson learned again. Uh, don't get the Longhorn as your boss battle. Really, like, no chance there. I'm really not sure what I was supposed to do. I mean, I could have tried to double jump or something, but I'm pretty sure I couldn't jump uh, high enough. And I wasn't fast enough to avoid it. So, I don't know. Uh, let's just not get that one again. Excuse me? Oh, did I actually take out that turret in one shot? Yeah, I guess if enough of these scatter bolts actually seem to hit. Oh, what is this? This is new. Oh, just a teleporter? Alright, I'm fine with teleporters. Let's keep going. Go, 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 go. Fast pace. Alright, we gotta go upstairs. There's gonna be, hopefully, a door to leave right around the top. Oh, jeez. Tried to avoid him. It's not easy. Oh, there's the boss door. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going up in case there's anything up here, and then I can avoid everything and just, just bounce right through the door. Oh, fall damage is a thing. Forgot about that again. Alright, this is the one that I know how to beat. The Lanternophilus. Uh, just shoot it around the base and try and watch out for dudes and explosions, and I think we'll be okay. I might actually get the gun if I can pull this off. Oh, don't stand in that. Don't do it. Uh, it's starting to spin faster. I don't remember exactly what I decided uh, happens when you walk through those circles. Does that damage you? It probably does. 
But I'm also sure that uh, these enemies here will also damage me, so I want to avoid them too. And I'm pretty sure as long as I don't just do something dumb here, I should have it. The question is, do I need to just beat the boss, or do I actually need to leave the level in that amount of time? I'm gonna assume the worst, and hope that I can just grab whatever the item is and just leave. Because I- oh, jeez, this is bad. Okay, I think I killed it. There's explosions all over the room! Alright, there's the... gun mod, right? What did I get? Health? Alright, let's leave. I got a bounce mod. That seems useful. I like that. And I think we should be good to go. Did I get it? Yes! New gun! Egon's Pride. That makes me think it's like a Ghostbusters shout-out. Time! 2.06. That's pretty fast, actually. So I'm pretty excited. We're gonna get to check out a new gun. Repairing hug bots. Simulating realistic hair? Is that what that said? <laughs> Alright, now we don't really have to rush as much, because that goal has been accomplished forever. Well, forever until it's patched or changed or we lose it. Uh, okay, we've got some gears. Oh, is this not the foundry this time? I guess not. Holy crap. What's going on in there? Uh, so since I rushed, I don't have, like, any of the weapon damage that I should probably have for being where I am. I'm just gonna try and hope that these guys will give that to me. They also seem to have a pretty wicked blast radius, which I'm not really sure how to counteract. I mean, I know how to counteract, don't stand near them, but... I don't know exactly where the border is from where I can stand and where I can't stand. You know what I can't stand? All of these freaking turrets shooting at me at the same time. Uh, let's just run through here. I'll use this gear to give myself a little bit of a boost. Is this how it's gonna be? I'm just gonna have to run through all these rooms every single time. Trying not to get hit by any of the five billion bullets. Alright, there is a door over there somewhere. Thankfully I'm okay with, uh, using gears. I don't think that's too bad. What is that? What are those? I don't know. They terrify me. I'm leaving. Uh, that's an enemy, isn't it? That is a very large thing, uh, that is shooting, like, cannonballs or something. Oh, god, everything's exploding! Get out of there! It's almost dead, though. Oh my god, it just spawns more of them when I kill them. This is a living nightmare. Get me out of here. And I'm dead. I don't even know what killed me, probably just one of those rogue bullets. Alright, let's see what this new gun's about. That's kind of where I was at. Uh, rapid fire is more useful than it seems. So I'm gonna guess the longer you fire it, like, the more damage it does or something? That seems sort of an easy thing to do. Uh, I don't want the falling damage anymore. I also do want to unlock some new, uh, perks. I think that would be kind of useful. Alright, here we go. Alright, so it is a fast gun. This seems like a really good thing to have, actually. Uh, it really does round out the set of guns. We have, like, the single heavy fire... The multiple, sort of a scatter gun, and now we've got a fast, probably low power gun that we can use for a, more of a long range attack, provided our accuracy is on, which it probably isn't. Sorry, hug bots. You know, you just want hugs, but I just want to survive, so I've got to do my thing. All right, well, that wasn't nearly as much XP as I've gotten in previous ones, but it'll do. Anything else in here? Nope, looks like we're good to go. And this room again. Alright, let's see how many shots... Oh, it's actually pretty powerful as well. Really doesn't take all that many hits. I'll probably just keep shooting forever then. Okay, cannons up on top. Not really that big of a deal. I feel like I have a big advantage now. Especially if I can level this thing up. Maybe there is sort of a progression element tied to this. Uh, where you want to get these certain guns by accomplishing certain objectives, and provided you do, you make it easier for you to get further every time. Uh, it seems pretty reasonable that that would actually be the reality of the thing, uh, but I would also think that there's a chance that the guns might actually be individually balanced, so I don't know, it could go either way. Uh, I'm totally fine with it, whichever way the developer decided to go in. All I know is, I just want there to be a lot of guns. You know, As I've mentioned in previous episodes of all kinds of things, I am a fan of games like Borderlands, where you just get stacks and stacks of guns, and they just let you do your worst with them. Uh, and the fact that this one already has so much going for it with the randomization and the random generation uh, seems like a very positive step to make to make the guns also equally as versatile. 
Let's get a little bit of a distance between us here. Oh, look at them shooting weapon stuff everywhere. I actually feel like I have a chance to take out enemies as they approach with this thing. It fires fast enough at its default that I actually feel like I'm not always in danger quite to the same degree that I was a moment ago. Alright, so we're at level 2. Oh, that's even better! It shoots ion blasts that sort of remind me a little bit of the shock cannon from Unreal Tournament. Alright, we've got a champion guy over here which seems to be stuck underneath that awning. Is he gonna die? Got a lot of HP. Alright, cool. Let's go... let's go down here. We don't have falling damage, right? So I think we should be good to go. Get a little bit more XP on our gun. And let's take out this Blinken dude. Hey, Blinken. Anything else down here I should know about? Nope. Looks like we're pretty much clear. Oh, there's some coins. I actually just about missed those. Do the guns have dynamic, uh, or the bolts have dynamic lights all the time, or is it just when they hit? Oh no, they do. Yeah, they have them all the time. That's nice. Actually reminds me a little bit of that gun from Quake 2. Uh, that, like, the end of the barrel spun really fast, and then it would just start shooting out these little pew-pew lasers. I don't think that was everybody's favorite gun. I mean, my favorite was obviously the railgun, but... Uh, definitely not a bad one either. Alright, pizza launcher, you don't stand a chance. Neither do you. Uh, this jump, though... I remember having trouble with this jump one other time. Yeah, it's like you don't get high enough up to make the jump, and then usually since you have fall damage, you just take a bunch of damage. Uh, there isn't really a sprint, and there isn't really a duck. Right, so... Yeah, control is just jump. Not really sure how you're supposed to counteract that kind of an issue. Let's take out of the... whatever this enemy is, he's gotta go. Maybe I can just walk along this little edge. Oh, I actually can do that. that. That is a little deceptive. This wall looks like it's totally in the way. Alright, should be okay to take on whatever's going on up here. Another cannonball launcher or something. And more robots. I don't know what your endgame plan is, robot. You're just gonna spin into me? I got your number, buddy. Alright, cool. Anybody over here worth talking to? Oh, we've got some coins. Hanging out on this ledge. And looks like a boss door, which uh, I'm gonna believe is probably our way forward. Just open that up and we'll come back for it. Oh, stuck on the floor again. So I'm inadvertently doing a little bit of beta testing here because I'm actually providing <laughs> sort of a minor level of service as uh, it pertains to testing the geometry. Uh, that one requires 81 coins. I'm gonna take it. Who dares wins, right? So let's open this up. We got a battery plus two item charge rate. Oh, I don't have an item, so that's not the most useful thing for me. No problem, let's head on up and go through the boss door. I actually feel like I might actually be able to take on a boss with this gun. So I'm looking forward to some much more prosperous runs in the future. And what's it going to be, the, ball, the bull? No, it's the tower, right? Yeah, it's the tower. Dr. Turret. Oh, he does not take a whole lot of damage, though, when I shoot him, I have just noticed. Am I supposed to shoot... Does it matter if I shoot him towards that core? Oh, look at that! I, like... Oh, he just regenerated. I thought I just, like, took out all of his defenses in one fell swoop. Well, it actually did a bunch of damage, so I will do that again. Uh, provided I can get through this hail of bullets. I can just get rid of this core here. There we go. Excuse me. So I, can, I guess all the bosses have some sort of a weak point. I'm not sure what the bull's weak point is yet, but hopefully I will discover that if I have to fight it again. Oh, and then move the core up to the top. No problem. Uh, ooh, this is getting all of a sudden a little bit scary. Alright, we made it through. Gun mod stun. Alright, I like having a nice stun gun. Anything else worth picking up here? Another little HP. Barely any. Those, uh, tiny little HP increments are like, they're such a small amount back. Almost feels like it's not even worth it. It's not the most gratifying thing. I'd probably prefer fewer health pickups that were more plen or more replenishing. But I guess then you're supposed to get them in, uh, you know, large numbers, I, I guess, would counteract. And then we've got the large plus ones, which sort of makes that all fine. Alright, level 2 awaits. Let us go. And we'll try out our stun mod on the first thing we see. Okay, seven minutes, zero secrets, but, uh, yeah, spacebar, let's press. Foundry. Looking for blue oceans, doing clumsy magic, probably not doing anything important. 
always entertained by funny loading screens. I really do hope, though, that uh, we can patch away the fact that we need to tutorialize every single time. Alright, we've had this room one time before. Uh, these guys are not all that dangerous, it seems. I mean, they do shoot a bunch of lasers, but for some reason they don't seem to hit me very often. So that's all good with me. Oh god, I've fallen into the lava. I don't know where the... Get out, get out. Hop, double jump, whatever you gotta do. Okay, I don't have a whole lot of a chance left now that I have almost no health. Let's see if these guys will get me back a little ways up. Well, not that far up, but better than I was a second ago. I just saw a whole bunch of the decals just disappear off the wall. How come one of those locks is unlocked, the other one is locked? What's that about? This looks like the same layout I had, like, basically entirely, although less cannons on the walls this time. I guess, uh, RNG Jesus is with me on this one. That's random number generating Jesus. Alright, well, there's a whole bunch more bullets coming from these two guys. Uh... Hmm. Know what to really say about that. I'm just gonna try and avoid them to the best of my ability. And my health is actually looking substantially better than it was a moment ago. I'm not sure if that's due to my stun gun having any real help. I don't know what I just picked up. Item charge rate. Very happy that it actually tells me that in the corner because I can almost never stop to read what those things say. Almost seems like it would be worth it to me, like, to have... Well, okay, I guess that's what the collection is gonna be, right? I was gonna say, like, a little area where you can see what all of them do. Uh, with the pictures that are associated, and I would so love it if this gun actually shot uh, multiple bullets at the same time. I wonder if we could get, like, a mod for that or something. There's so many secrets and mysteries to this game yet that I have not discovered. I'm you know, very much anticipating learning all of the ins and outs and nuances of Tower of Guns. It's a very, very fun game, I have to say. Uh, I really do enjoy the style of gameplay as it pertains to shooters, you know, having them be a lot more reaction time based. Uh, as long as you have the proper tools to deal with the enemies that you're being thrown, uh, I think this is a case now where I might have those tools, whereas when I was dealing with some of the other guns, maybe not so much. I uh, just need a nice railgun and then we can talk. I don't know what that was, that big pink bolt kind of scared me a little bit. Uh, this is getting a little awkward. Let's uh, train them around here if we could, or kite them. A little bit, and we'll see if we can pick up some of this stuff before it disappears. Barely, kind of got a little bit of it. I'm pretty sure there's just some kind of cannon launching all kinds of garbage at me. Yeah, it's a pretty ugly cannon up there. Ah! And by ugly, I just mean shooting ugly projectiles that want to destroy my life. Alright, get all the stuff, and then we'll just head up there and try and take that sucker out. I have plenty of health again, which is great. Let's try and use this wall is a shield unless that goes right around. Oh my god, what is going on? This freaking dude. Thought I killed him already. Alright, I really don't want this thing to exist anymore. Let's just focus fire on that for a second. There's actually a couple of them, aren't there? Just crash that into the floor. Oh, that one's almost dead. Should be dead in a few moments. Yep, there it goes. And I'm not going to get up there in time to actually inspect whatever it dropped. I think I took out the other one. Not 100% on that. I should be able to walk across these pipes... Oh, totally just didn't jump there for some reason. Not sure why that happened. Uh, Alright, some extra coin. 109. That's that's probably a record for me. I don't know, maybe. Is there a, like, a token or anything that you get unlocked? Or some sort of a badge or gun or reward for getting a ton of money? I kind of forgot. Alright, is there anything secret-wise over here? It looks like there's some coins. And then when I get the chance, I will actually head over on the other side, see if there's any... Oh, no. I can't see anything from there. How did you just elude my line of sight like that? That was masterful, AI bot. I thought I knew exactly where you were at all times. Because you're kind of obvious. I mean, you're like a big old flying buzzsaw. And that was not the case. So I, I guess there's some clipping issues occasionally, like that pipe. I just sort of, like, walked through part of it. No big deal. Just saying. Alright, what do we have here? Another door? Picture of a gravestone. I just still don't know what that- Oh, it's the arrow just goes from lock to unlock. That's what that is. I just didn't get a good look at it ever before. Alright, let's see if we can stun these guys or just take them out as quickly as possible. I'd like to get to level 3 with this gun. That would be awfully nice. Maybe you can see what I've been missing. Just sort of demolish these suckers if I could. Don't shoot your pizzas at me. 
Being able to stun them seems really helpful. Yep, you don't stand a chance. Alright, so I actually got a bunch of XP for my weapon that time. Uh, I remember last time I tried to go up this setup, there were those floating coconuts that started exploding and made my life miserable. So if that's a thing that's going to happen every time, yeah, it is. Uh, I'm just going to not try and activate them, I guess, if that's an option. Or do they eventually just start bashing into each other and explode no matter what I do? I'm just going to try and not touch any of them. I know you guys are really upset that I'm in your room. Uh, I'm not going to bother you, though, so just go about your business. Be coconuts or whatever you are. I think more like drill bits, to be honest. And what do we have in here? Alright, big ol' crab foundry monsters, I guess. That create little explosions in the air. They're kind of cute, but they're also kind of deadly. I'm definitely feeling there could be a few more music tracks. I know that's probably not a super high priority uh, at this stage in development, but uh, I'm looking forward to that point. Uh, I think probably each floor should be, you know, represented with its own... Oh, those look like giant versions of the coconut monsters, don't they? Or no, they just have really big blast radiuses, that's all. But I think that uh, adding a little bit more music or variety in the music is definitely going to round out what is already a surprisingly uh, well-constructed package of the game. Okay, this guy seems to have an awful lot of cannonball blasts inside. We could just eliminate that sucker, and this guy just can't seem to hit me because his platform was luckily blocking that one cannonball. Or whatever we're calling it. Bullet? Giant bullet? And there is actually a little bit of knockback on this gun, which I didn't really notice before. Uh, if we can fall down here in a way that could let me get some stuff, that would be cool. Uh, not really a whole lot of stuff to get in this one. Alright, open the next room. And I can't really go back, can I? I guess we're sort of like, once we're down, we're down. This is an exotic setup. I'm not really sure what to expect. Alright, we've got foundry crab monsters with explosions. I'm going to kind of run through all of that, if we could. Try and just decimate whatever's behind me. Stun them if I can. Stun lock them even better. Uh, get a little bit of height, maybe, and I can shoot down on some of these guys. Uh, what's going on upstairs? Are we going to get into a second wave of monsters? I'd like to keep it at the one, if we could. And let's get rid of this turret before it starts to wreak havoc on me. Turning around, I see that guy has a big problem with my face. I, am, I have a problem with his face, too. Alright, seems like that one had a little bit of a blast radius. Weapon level to level three. I'm loving it. Oh, it fires so fast, I love it so much. Oh god, pink lasers! I lost my weapon level, guys. I feel bad now. I want that back! I was really enjoying having a weapon level 3. I don't like you! Freaking laser blast turret from Cannon Brawl. What are you doing? You have no business trying to take my weapon levels away from me. Those are mine. I earned those by defeating your bros. Any other secrets below the stairs or anything? I want to make sure I get all the chances I can. You! I've had enough of your business. Both of you. Okay, go. No, 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 no. Don't want those guys exploding. Oh, jeez. We've got... Oh, no. I knew that was what was happening. I saw it. I saw the walls tumbling down around me. And by walls, I mean the hail of bullets that look like the scene from the freaking Spartans in 300 fighting in the shade, putting their shields up. I don't want to be in the shade of bullets anymore, guys. But I do want to play more Tower of Guns, so hopefully you're with me on that concept, and hopefully you will let me know that you're still enjoying the series. You know, any support you can leave is excellent. I'd love to hear what you're thinking so far. Uh, likes are always welcome as well, and help me get the series in front of new people. If that's possible for you to do, I would appreciate it, but only if you think I deserve it, of course. And I think that's going to do it for another episode, guys, so I hope you're still enjoying things. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and I will catch you next time. Have a lovely night. Later.